Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thank you all for joining me at this time. My name is Shavi Zayn, and I'm coming on to bring a message for the chosen. If you find that this resonates with you in any way, please be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and let us know what you think about this message. So first of all, chosen, I want to talk to you all about why many of you have been under spiritual attack. A lot of people tend to ask me that question, especially when I do personal readings. They want to know who's attacking them and why. And I always let them know, depending on your position, as a chosen seed, you are automatically under attack by the powers that were. The powers that were are those beings who have placed themselves in a position of power over society, over the masses through criminal activity, rituals, you know, um, spiritual warfare, spell work things of that nature, sacrifices especially. And so the powers that were have been going after the chosen for a very, very long time. They recognize that we possess what's called universal energy, okay? The frequency of the chosen when we all unite and awaken is very high vibrational energy. And so it is defined as the universal energy. Their agenda is to collect the energy of what they call one world order. But when we awaken as the chosen see, we have universal energy, which is one verse, one sound, one voice, okay? One frequency. And this is connected to music. It's connected to sound. Everything is sound. Everything is energy. Everything is frequency and vibration. And so they recognize that when we awaken and we rise into our divinity and come into remembrance of who we are and what we was placed here to do, the frequency that's emitted from our vessels, from our avatars is very high vibrational. And as the, as more of us continue to awaken, that frequency is placed, it's pushed out into the universe and it shifts the energy of all things that exist around us. The musical note is very important to consider because it's very similar to the symbols of the gods that the powers that were often use and reference. One in particular is the god Hermes Mercury, okay? And the symbol that is used is the caduceus. The caduceus is often used for the medical industry, but it is also used to symbolize uh, commerce, okay? So it's the symbol of the medical industry and the symbol of commerce. And so these symbols are very important to recognize that the powers that were understood using merging spirituality um, and people's connection to the most high with their alchemy. They understood the importance of using medieval alchemy to capture and to put spells over the chosen specifically. And so when you read biblical texts in the book of Exodus, it speaks directly on this particular symbol. Now you want to also consider that this symbol from this so-called God Mercury, Hermes Mercury was uh, created around like 5 BC, 4 BC, something like that. Okay. So this would be before Christ. So this is all connected to the symbol of the staff that the biblical text says that Moses had. So you all know when Moses was being guided to go out to Egypt, a Lord, okay, remember we spoke about Lord, which can be a person, a person in a position of authority, a Lord spoke to him and told him to go and to take this snake, to pick up this snake and to turn and to pretty much turn it into their rod, okay, it would become a rod. So to pick up a snake by the tail and it will become a rod. That's what's written in the book of Exodus. You can read it for yourself. This symbol will go on to be used and it's directly connected to this God Hermes. Okay. This Olympian uh, deity who is supposed to be the protector of human heralds, travelers, thieves, merchants, and orators. Now consider this is the God of thieves as well. That stands out very um, very strongly here because this same symbol is used in the medical industry and it is also the symbol of commerce for the powers that were. They understand that symbols are a language in and of itself, okay? Language begin with symbols. 
And so they understand the power and the frequency of these things when it is used amongst the masses. This has been used to cast spells amongst the masses, okay? And so the symbol is also defined as a character in a musical notation. Consider that. So this symbol of Caduceus has been used to create poisons in many different ways, whether it's through the buying and the selling, whether it's through the medical industry, they understand that they are using these symbols to represent, they're telling you what they stand for. They're telling you where their origin came from. They're telling you what their agenda is. And many of you that's chosen out there, you have the ability to shift your frequency to a high vibrational frequency to where you're able to hear that universal sound. You become one with the universe. And because you can hear the sound of the universe and you understand the frequency, there's a lot of messages that will be downloaded. There's a lot of, um, you'll gain access to your Akashic records and the way that your DNA is expressed, you'll be able to gain access to that ancient wisdom that comes through your bloodline. And so the powers that were recognize that when you awaken, your frequency shifts and it, it omits a sound that can heal, not just yourself, but it can heal others. You know, you step into a room and your energy, you, you become a generator and people don't understand why your energy has the ability to either repel them or to um, give them, to empower them. It can repel them or it can empower them. Your voice, your words, the way that you speak, your singing, the way that you play music, the way that you dance, every aspect of you, the, your sexual energy, who you make love to, you have the ability to heal, to awaken, to empower. So your energy is very, very valuable and it's very, very powerful. And so these people have literally hid their agenda right there before our eyes. Okay. The symbol also represents non-combatants. Okay. Let's consider that the symbol of the cows, the cow, Deuces also represents non-combatant. What is a non-combatant? It's someone who is under humanitarian law. Okay. So these will be the people who are naturally protected by law. They're protected because they're considered to be so-called humanitarians. Okay. And so this is why a lot of times when medical malpractice happens or, you know, certain things take place when it comes to your finances, the buying and selling of things, they use this symbol, this symbol um, represents them being protected. This is spell work. This is magic. Okay. That they are using medieval alchemy that they are using through this symbol, through this particular God who is the protector of thieves. Consider that. And so when you start to really take a look at all of these things combined, this is a merging of energy where they're trying to create a different frequency. That's been their objective, create a different frequency. And that's why the cow deuces is so similar to that of a staff, a, a musical staff. Okay. It's so similar to that because they understand that frequency is everything. And so they have merged many different things. The cow deuces is also, they say that mercury the way that it was formed was that Mercury was trying to step in the middle of a battle between two snakes. And so the rod of Mercury ended up, they th Mercury threw this rod at the two snakes and the two snakes wrapped themselves around the rod. And so now that's supposed to be the origin of the Caduceus, right? And so consider this would be two different nations who possess power, who possessed wisdom and the ability to transform, use alchemy and to do all types of things, fighting up against one another. But this one person, right, this one entity, this one being in the middle took both and merged the two. And now the, the staff that they use, the caduceus that they use is supposed to symbolize the power that they have over the medical industry, as well as anything concerning commerce, which is practically everything in the world, right? They understand that you as a chosen seed, everything is, it begins with atoms, everything. And so they know that you are a microcosmic being 
moving in in the macrocosm. They understand that you are a reflection of the macrocosms, right? And so if they can lower your vibration and shift your frequency to a different tone, which that has been the objective through music, through TV shows, through uh, radiation, all types of stuff that they got going on, the food, they would shift your cellular energy and shift the way that your DNA expresses itself because what they're doing is they're shifting the, they know that everything is housed in water. Your DNA is sitting in water. And so water is, it absorbs energy. It shifts. It has the ability to shape shift based on the frequency of whatever thoughts you're having, whatever foods you're taking in, whatever you do on a daily basis, what you're looking at, what you're thinking about, what you're remembering based on your traumas, your DNA will express itself based on that. Okay. And so they know that you are literally a microcosmic, um, projection of the macrocosms. And so their whole objective has been to control the masses so that they can then create a new sound, a new verse, but it's a low vibrational frequency. One that will keep people ill, one that will keep people asleep, one that will keep people in this zombie like state. Okay. And so these people have studied long and hard. And what they did was they stole ancient wisdom from the original beings of the planet and they merged it to fit into their agenda. So they understood the power that came from, even if you take from the, the Hebrew uh, way of living, the Egyptian way of living, even let's just say if there was real strife between the two. They understood that there was power on both ends. And so the snake, I believe the snake and the rod represents the merging of those two energies and the powers that were taking all of the ancient wisdom, all of the ancient understanding, the ancient um, uh, alchemy and that divine connection and using it for themselves. And now that is their symbol of power. OK, that that represents their symbol of power as well as their symbol of protection, the protector of thieves. This is the God that they put that they give a lot of honor to. OK, through their symbols. So we have to remember that. Because these people are so hungry for power and they're so thirsty, they're willing to sacrifice, they're willing to do rituals, they're willing to do spell work, they're willing to cre uh, commit criminal acts. We have to remember that there is nothing that they have not touched or tried to taint all the way down to the atom, all the way down to energy and frequency, because they understand that that's the source. That's where everything begins. That's where life begins. That's where, you know, you can either stay in a low vibrational sleep state based on a frequency, or you can rise into a high vibrational awakened state based on a frequency. And this is why listening to frequencies and certain tones is so powerful. This is why musicians and those who create music have such a powerful position over the masses. And this is why the powers that were give so much power and authority to those who pushes the most low vibrational messages and frequencies, right? Because it's not just what they're saying and what they're speaking is also the vessel, which is coming from the vest, the vessel of, you know, the actual individual from which the music is coming from and the words are being spoken from is also low vibrational. And so when you're taking all of that in it will shift the frequency of the person who is listening to a low vibrational state. And you're topping that with all the other tactics that they are using. This is their medieval alchemy. Okay. And so you as a chosen seed, you will always be under attack until these beings are taken completely out of their position of power, which they have, they're losing it as we speak. Okay. We have yet to see the full destruction of their empire in the 3D because more chosen seeds are continuing to awaken. We're continuing to put the declarations out there. We're continuing to raise our frequency, remove ourselves from our carnal nature and shift the type of energy that we're projecting out into the universe. And the more of us that, that do this, we get to a particular number and suddenly everything that they have crashes. It's already crashed in the spiritual realm. And so now it's a matter of the reflection of that in the physical as above, so below. So it's so important for 
the chosen seed to remember that the spiritual attacks that come towards you will always come first from the powers that were. Yes, you will have people in your intimate circle who are just jealous of off the strength that you have been chosen for such a divine assignment. Yes, you will have people that will do it off the strength that you removed your energy and they're jealous, you know, but it's deeper than that. It's far deeper than that, okay? This is coming from those beings in the underworld who want to maintain their position. They're concerned about world order, new world order, whereas the chosen, we are universal order, okay? We are one verse. We are one sound when we awaken and we rise into our divinity and come into remembrance of who we are as the children of the Most High Mother and Father. So just know that when you feel those attacks coming, this is a battle to get you to hold back your wisdom. This is a battle to prevent you from bringing truth forward that's going to activate the DNA, that's going to bring people into remembrance of who they are. You know, your messages activate people. They awaken people. They, you know, send uh, lightning bulbs through people. You know, this is uh, lightning, very powerful energy that allows the DNA to begin to express all of those things that were dormant at one point. Okay. And so you have a very powerful position that a whole lot of beings do not want you to realize or to express to the world. So you will always have enemies, but you will always be divinely protected at the same time. You have to know this. And so this is why it's so important for y'all to continue to press forward, regardless of what's happening. Yes, you're going to have stumbling blocks in front of you because remember, you have enemies that's trying to clip you up. Spiritual warfare is very real. There's always going to be, remember, they have, they're using symbols. They're using medieval alchemy, magic, even over the commerce, the buying and selling of goods. This symbol, the cast, the Caduceus is used for that for commerce as well. It's used for the medical healthcare industry as well. And so you have to know that when they, they're telling you that they're using that particular frequency or that God is supposed to be protecting them. That's truly the so-called God that they pray to and that they give honor to. Okay. Is this uh, so-called Hermes. Hermes, Medusius, whatever his name is. And that would be the God that is the protector of thieves, the protector of thieves. So they, their desire is to steal your inheritance. And what is your inheritance? Your inheritance is your birthright. It's your peace. It's your happiness. It's your um, spiritual gifts. It's your physical monetary inheritance, that divine connection that you have to mother earth. It is everything that you are, that is divinely yours from birth. Those are the things that they have been stealing from birth. And so trust and believe your spiritual gifts are definitely one of, it is out of all of the things that they can take from you, the most valuable of everything. Okay. And so this is, you have spiritual gifts. And so therefore there is spiritual warfare to prevent you from awakening and understanding those gifts. The whole objective is to keep you fearful of those gifts. And this is why they handed you religion. This is why they took everything and put it in one book and told you that, oh, Moses had this staff and this snake. But now that same staff and snake is being used as a symbol of protecting your enemy, the thieves of your inheritance, while using it to do spell work over your goods, your health, your happiness, your peace your spiritual gifts. This thing runs very, very deep. And so the more of you that wake up and add your piece to the puzzle, we get these messages out there and we're sounding off with one verse. We are sounding off with one verse and we are changing the vibrational frequency. We are changing the tone. We are lifting the energy back up to where it belongs. And those beings who cannot keep up with the energetic frequency as we continue to be those generators of that high vibrational energy, those beings who want to stay in a low vibrational frequency, they get wiped out because they can't keep up with the vibrational frequency is too, is moving too fast. And because they're so dense in their energy, their health begins to de decline very rapidly. Okay. And so we have to continue to step into our position. 
Let the most high work through you. Do not allow the illusion of this matrix to get you too caught up or overly consumed with who's, who's doing what, how much money, you know, this person is making, how many bills you have over here. You, you, the main objective is to maintain that internal peace. That is the main objective. Maintain the internal peace and give yourself permission to awaken and to remember who you are and what you was placed here to do. And as you continue to raise your vibrations, that universe, that sound, that frequency, you're going to hear it. And what comes with that frequency is information. Information. You'll begin to interpret those frequencies and it gives you all of the secrets of the powers that were. It reveals to you all of the, you know, the tactics and the, the, the tools that they're used. It tells you their strategy. And so once you have an, a clear understanding and you see through the smoke screens and that matrix energy is, is, you know, is broken, then you'll be able to speak truths that will help other chosen seed to awaken, to speak their truths until all of the chosen seed are awakened. And we're all speaking that truth and putting the pieces to the puzzle together. And the entire, um, the entire smoke screen and the illusions of the powers that were completely collapse, completely collapse. Okay. So that's what we're placed here to do. That's why you're dealing with spiritual warfare, but you have your spiritual team that's always protecting you the same way these low vibrational beings can use alchemy. You actually, alchemy belongs to you. Okay. Working with the elements is your birthright. That is your inheritance as the chosen seed of the most high mother and father, because we will use that energy to uplift humanity, not to pervert things. Okay. Not to sacrifice folks, not to do wickedness against folks, but we use it to uplift. And if we need to use it in a way where we have to destroy, we use it to destroy wickedness. We use it to destroy wickedness, using it to target the powers that were. Okay. So that's my message for you all. There's so much more for us to talk about, but I'm going to end it here. We'll resume on another video. Please be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment below. I love you all. And I'll talk to you all next time.